This video explains the relative location of a place. But to understand the relative location properly, it is useful to first explain the absolute location. The absolute location is the exact location of a place. You can specify this as latitude for example. For example, New York is located at 40 degrees north latitude and 74 degrees west longitude. You can also say that the distance between Amsterdam and Rotterdam is 58 kilometers. This distance therefore only changes on a geological timescale if a place is moved by plate tectonics. The relative location is the location of a place in relation to other places measured in terms of accessibility. So here it is about the time, effort or cost to reach this place. For example, if there is an existing railway line but a new train station is being built, the relative location of this place improves because it is easier to reach. Another good example is Australia. Global shift has improved prosperity in Asia, resulting in much more trade to and from Asia. Australia can sell products in Asia due to rising incomes. The relative position in international trade of Australia has thus improved due to global shift. But the opposite is also possible. If trains no longer stop on a particular track due to a new timetable, the relative position of that place will deteriorate. A good example is the port of Rotterdam. Rotterdam is an important transit point because goods from Asia arrive here via the port and are transported to the east. It is becoming increasingly easier to transport goods from China to Europe by train. Because the goods are already coming from the east, the goods are no longer transported through the port of Rotterdam. The relative position of the port of Rotterdam may therefore deteriorate. This could be a threat in the long term, as fewer goods are transported through the port of Rotterdam, resulting in less jobs. In short, the relative location can change, while the absolute location does not change.